Is it just me, or am I the only one that loves to customize and change and modify things to make it better? I don't like things stop. Come see what I'm doing. All right. A lot of people know that I use the product called Rhino Hide, and I've recently painted that product, but between you and me, I love camouflage. I love the pattern, I love the design, and the original design on the original Rhino Hive, which is this. Now, I love that design. Um, however, I've always wanted to have the digital camo design on the Rhino Hive, but they only came there, they only made that for a specific vehicle. And now, I'm trying to do it on my own Rhino Hide. Now Rhino High comes in this bag that I store away, but because this is what I use, this is what it is, this is the panel now, it's blue, but I want to change it to this, there you go, this is what I want, a digital camo design, which I've done by myself, and I'm going to show you how you can do it, check this out. stickers and um, basically give it a good wipe down sand down as much of this original paint as I can and then we'll get started it's always a good idea to be careful when you're using a Stanley knife I gotta tend to this first All right, good as new. Let's continue. <coughs> All right, just a quick heads up to anyone that wants to do this. Make sure you clean the Rhino High panels or any panel that you're planning on painting. Do a thorough clean. Um, like I had to scrub of all the excess sticky glue, uh, the 3M tape that was originally on some of those um, stickers. Um, so now that it's nice and smooth, there's still a few, I can feel a few sticky spots, which I'm gonna have to do this one more time, but be thorough with your clean because it makes life a hundred times easier, all right? All right, here comes the exciting part of things. Now, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with this brand at all. Um, I am just using their paints because it was cheap. I got this down at Bunnings and it was $8 on sale. Um, now the colors that I have chosen, as you can see, gray, dusty, gloss, gray. The next one is a medium gray. And of course, we've got the blue. So if you want to do the same, those are the colors. Um, but first things first, this paint here is plastic safe. So make sure you do get the one that is plastic safe 
specifically for the rhino hide because the outside the rhino hides are made of an abs plastic so you just got to be careful um but besides that i love this because it has a 10 minute touch ready to be touched when it's dry put down a base coat and we'll continue Easy as that. Base coat's done. Now let me show you the uh, the second step, and I've got to go inside for that. So come on. Before we go inside, my dogs are supposed to help me, but look what they're doing. Check this out. My dogs are so lazy. They're supposed to help me, but they don't help me. Oh well. Let's head inside. And um show you the second part on what you need to do or get done in order to get the uh, get the digital camo to work all right you're gonna have to excuse the mess that is inside this inside my house I can't use my office at the moment because I'm doing some renovations in there ready for filming and other stuff as well but I want to show you something this here is a vinyl cutter and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go on the computer and we're going to cut some stuff so check this out all right so basically i'm using what's called sign master and that allows me to use templates that I found online to create vector diagrams to cut this out. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut these and they're going to cut into vectors and then basically go straight onto the vinyl cutter to print out as templates to stick on and, and basically paint over the top. So easy as that. That's all we got to do. Um, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Oh, I haven't selected all of them. So let's just select all that. I want to cut all this and yeah, so it tells me the measurements and all my cuts and stuff. Um, but yeah, basically I'm going to cut this and use a vinyl cutter to cut everything out and make life easier for me when I want to cut it. All right. Okay. So I've set up the cutter. Put the vinyl, I use green because I don't really use green a lot, so it's easy for me to throw it out and not an expensive cost. Um, but I am cutting this vinyl at 10 mils a second and a pressure of only 30 grams. So let's do this. All right, let's cut, shall we? Cut now. Yes, proceed with cut. Welcome back. I've cut the vinyl pieces out. Now let me just put everything in the box. It gives me a bit more room to work. So basically, the next color that I'm going to be using is my blue. Um, and then basically that's just going to be the next layer, the next coat. But what you do is you get the vinyl cut and thanks to the magic of filming, it's all dry. All right. So first step is to have a pattern idea in your head about what you want to do. So we're just going to slowly peel away these vinyl cutout stickers. And basically you're going to stick them on in a pattern. Just be gentle because you don't want to rip it. And there's your piece. And then what you do is you slowly put them in at 90 degrees in different areas. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. Thank you. 
So just like that, you put your pieces together. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until I'm quite happy. Now just remember, everything that you cover is gonna be this gray. So just to give you guys a close up, the doggies are playing. They're having a lot of fun. Anyways, so this is what I've done. I've gone in a bit of a zigzag motion with the gray. So these areas here will be this light gray. What I'm gonna do is a blue, 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 and then dark gray, dark gray, dark gray, dark gray in, in the areas that fill it later on. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to paint this a blue. So just make sure all these are stuck down. Any excess, as you can see, I've just folded over so then they stay on. Um, and yeah, now he's gonna paint it. Part two, let's go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So now the blue's done. Now I know you guys don't want to wait for the, uh, the paint to dry, so, and we're back. All right, so the paint's all dry. Just gotta make sure everything's still stuck down. And, um, and now we just gotta get more of the sticky, pop it on, so everything that we want to stay blue, keep it blue. Let's do that. So the last layer is on, you just gotta put the last coat, so the dark gray on top of all of this, and then dry. So let's do it. come back and we'll see how it comes out. I'll show you what I have to do. Take all the sticks off, your camo's done. All right, now paint's all dry. Yep, definitely dry. Um, we're gonna peel off the sticker and reveal what's underneath. Let's do it. I like it. It's done really well. Let's we'll see. The digital camo has come through quite nicely. All right, there you go. That's the finished product. And I have to say, it looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to do the rest to do the rest of the panels and pop them in the car. And I'll give you guys a look at how that looks in a minute. I'll do the rest now, um, but it gives you guys a good idea. It looks, I absolutely love this look. It looks incredible. Um, very easy to do. All you kind of need is to get a stencil of um, all these cutouts, and I'm sure you can find them somewhere. Um, however, I went and just made my own stencils using the vinyl cutter. It's awesome. I, I think it's incredible. Let's do the rest. Okay, it's day two. I managed to, I managed to do these last night. Uh, I'm going to peel them off and finish up the last two panels. I'm also going to go head down to Bunnings and get a clear coat so I can spray a clear coat on all the panels uh, just because I want to try and preserve it for as long as possible. So enjoy the time lapse of what I'm doing. <laughs>
all it is all dry now. So basically, the last process now is to peel off all the stickers and um, reveal what's underneath it. So you do the three layers. So obviously, you do you know your light grey, and then I did my blue, and then a dark grey on top. You can put a fourth layer if you wanted to to put on top of this, but I think the three colours is perfect. What I wanted to look like. So now, just peel all the stickers up. There's a sticker here. It says Fantastic Adventures. I'm going to start peeling it off and hopefully it does a good job because I left it on hoping it might look quite decent. Oh, there you go. I reckon that turned out great. Perfect. Now always remember, after you finish painting it, make sure you put a clear coat on, just so then uh, it doesn't scratch off or peel off and um, helps protect the paint a little bit. So, cue the time lapse, because it's time to put myself with a clear gloss coat on top of all the panels. <laughs> Panels nicely done. It looks great. It's time to put them on the car. Done and dusted. The blue camo, digital camo, is done on my Rhino height. I think it looks absolutely mint. Um, if you guys like what I've done, leave a comment below and give me a massive thumbs up for the video. But besides that, I will catch you guys up in the Pilbara. This FJ is going up to the Pilbara and there's going to be a whole new series about the Pilbara coming up. And I'll catch you guys then. Cheers! <laughs>